Pink Sisters. Okay, so today we're here on our Mac and we're going to be talking about a great feature of the Finder called the Dock. Right, and I think, you know, most people are familiar with the Dock, but there are a lot of things that you can do that I think a lot of people don't know. <laughs> right, for example, you can put the Dock on the side instead of the bottom if you wanted to. Right, and you can create fo something called stacks, which really are folders. Yeah. And so everything that's similar is in one spot. Yeah. I think even for us, having used the Mac since basically it first came out, we were like, wow, the dock is really powerful. Yeah, yeah. So let's so, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Okay. So um, I'm going to go ahead. You notice how when I went, brought my mouse down to the screen, it, the dock popped up. This is a setting that we're going to look at later. If your dock is just already up all the time, that's fine. We'll show you that setting. Right. So um, the dock uh, is where you put things that you use the most, right? Mm -hmm. It's sort of a handy little shortcut tool for you. Right. If I come down here and I look at the this vertical line here towards the bot towards the right, um, it is called the separator. And anything to the right of it will be a folder or a document. Right. Anything to the left will be an app application or an app. Right, and that's just the way it is. That's the way, yep, you that's set the way it, it comes. You can't change and it that. comes defaulted with this downloads folder, right. which is nice because right. anything you download will be here, so easy access for you. Right. Um, so, what you want to do is you want to put things into the dock that you use a lot. Right. So, I have all these programs that I use a lot already in my dock, but let's show you how to put a new one in. So, I'm going to go ahead and to click on my finder. And I'm going to go to my Applications folder. I could also go to my Documents folder and put a document. Yeah. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the App Store. Okay, so I use the App Store a lot. I want it in my dock. Right, good. So what you do is you select it, and then you click, and you drag it down towards your dock. And wait, wait till the two apps kind of pop apart so you have a spot for it. Mm -hmm. And then you just lift up. Beautiful. And there it is. Now what you want to do, what I like to do with the dock, is I like to keep the programs I use the most over on the left hand side. Okay. You can set yours up any way you want. Right. So you can also, once you have things in the dock, you can move them around. So um, to move them around, you just click on it, you pick it up, drag it, and you put it anywhere you want. Right. Wait for the opening and drop it in. There it is. And it's just as easy to take things off your dock. If I go up here and I pull it off the dock far enough away, um, so that it says, you can see right above it right now, it says remove. Perfect. So boom, click. Right. I could have also gone and taken it over the trash. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's not really deleting it. It's nope. said remove from dock. Right. Oh, so. that's a good point, Barb. These are yeah. all aliases. These are copies of the program. Pointers to the Pointers original. Pointers to the program. Yeah. All your yeah. programs or documents that you put in the dock are still on your computer. Right. So if you take them off and delete them, you're not yep. really deleting them. Right. right. So um, I think let's take a look at the preferences now for the Okay. Dock. So we're going to bring up the preferences. So we just go to System Preferences. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to just move this up a little bit. And then we're going to go down here to... It's right on the top. Right on the top. There dock. it is. Third thing in, dock. And the first thing that we have is size. <laughs> so you can yep. set your dock up to be any size that you want it to be. Now watch the dock down at the bottom. Yep. I can make it really tiny oh. <laughs> <laughs> or really large. So it just yep. depends on how you want to see it. I kind of like three quarters is what I always yeah. set mine at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you have magnification. And the magnification is when you go down over um, a dot, an application that you're going to open, it. will it magnify or not? So let me turn it back on, make it max. And now you see as I come down and I go over, it's kind of making them a little bit bigger when you come over them. Right. See how they're getting up? Kind of in a neighborhood right. of about three or four apps, it looks like. Yeah. They get bigger so you can see them. That would probably work well if you had that size way down, right? Right, yeah, sure. Yep. Um, you can also choose the position on the screen. Right. So we have ours on the bottom, but let's say that we want to put it on the right. Yep. Now, if I go to the bottom, it's not there, but there it is oh, on the right. Oh, tricky. Yeah. Yeah. You so never that's, know. That's cool. My son likes his on the side. Yeah. I'm just like, I think he just wants to be different than me. I think so. <laughs> I think so. But you know, sometimes I found it is kind of a hassle when you're in a program and you're trying to get something at the bottom yep. of the screen and the dog keeps coming yeah. up. So it is kind of nice. 
In the scale effect? The yeah, the mini- scale effect is, you can either have genie or scale effect. That's when you're minimizing windows. And what does so, minimize a window mean? Well, let's look here in Safari. We've got a Safari window open here with our website on it. Okay. And there are three buttons in the upper left-hand corner of any um, window on the Mac. Okay. Uh, some programs take those away, but most of them have it. Um, mm-hmm. Red is close. Yep. Uh, green is make full screen, yep. which we're not really going to talk about today. And yellow is minimize, which minimize. means it's going to put it down into the dock. Ah, so sort so, of get it out of your way, but right. not quit it. That's right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to minimize Oops, minimize this window. And you see the scale effect took it down. I'm yep. going to do it again. And you're going to see that it's now right. over here. Because it's it a sh- document. It yep. shows me this window and that it's a Safari document. This window is a Pages document. Awesome. So I'm going to bring it back up by clicking on it. And I'm going to change this to the genie effect, which right. is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> And you click on it and watch how it genies down yeah, there. Right. <laughs> that's kind of fun. So that's I kind of just that. a fun little it's effect. It's a fun thing. Um, you can also set it up to um, prefer tabs when opening documents. Okay? Right. So, for example, here I just have a finder window, right? Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a new finder window by going to the file menu and saying new finder window. And right now it's going to put that in a separate window. window. A new window. A new window. Right. Um, So if you change it to tabs. If I change it to uh, always. Always. Which it was. Yeah. It should have done it. New. Oh, you did. Oh, click. Come over here and click on the plus sign there. There you go. Okay. Then we're going to get it in as a tab. Yep. So you can click through the tabs. Yeah. So you could just go from tab yep. to tab and see the different windows that you have. It's kind right. of nice. A lot of people don't realize you could do that within a finder window. Right. Some programs automatically do that now. Most do. Right. So this yeah. this this tab feature will work in all Apple programs. Right. Um, uh, and some other ones, depending on how the, you right. know, Non Apple so program works. If I bring up this Pages, for example, and I have it set to always, yep. this is a Pages document. So if I go and I do a new Pages document, yep. and I pick this one, yep. it's going to bring it in as a tab. As a tab. As opposed to bringing it up as a separate right. document. And uh, a nice setting for that for sure is to do it when your document is full screen, if you want to show them that. Right. So now I have, look, now I have another window, in the, another window with this document yeah. in it. And if you're in full screen, it's really nice because it, you lose all yeah, the menus. Yeah, so anyway. you can pick that. Right. So no, you can the next one now. On. Oops, there we go. There we go. We could do in full screen only. Is it going to put it into tab? Right, because you're nice. taking up the whole screen. Yeah. Right. Perfect. The next thing is double clicking a Windows title bar to zoom. So right. that's kind of fun too. Um, if we, we come in here and we double click, oops, in the window the title bar, it's going to zoom it out. I probably should have. Let's go into Safari. <clears throat> Let's go back into Safari. Yeah, I'm close it. Minimize this window. Yeah, the pick up your effect. Safari. Yes. Go down here and get my Safari window up. Yes. Double click up in the bar. And if I double click in the bar, it's going to zoom to fill the screen. Yep. So that's kind of a nice feature. Yep. And then double click again. It'll go back to the size down. that you were yep. at. Right. And you can either zoom or, or minimize. You minimize. So, so a minimize is nice. Double click. Now we, yeah, all right, did you see that genie effect? Yes, I love that genie effect. Let's <laughs> okay. do it again. No. All right, so that's kind of nice. You yep. can do that that way. Um, you can also minimize the windows into the application icon. So okay. this is a little bit goofy, but what this will do is instead of putting the document to the right of the separator and okay. showing you what app it's in, it's going to put it right down into the program. And it only does one window at a time. So if you're going to minimize more than one thing, yeah. you don't want to use this feature. It's kind of... It's kind of turn it off. Yeah. We, we can just leave it off. <laughs> turn it You'll off. You'll be happier. Um, you can also animate opening applications. Which and is what really this nice. Does. Yeah. When you run an application, just what it'll do. Just try to do, open something. Um, is it'll, it'll bounce. Then it lets you know that it's working. It's, it's opening. Because right. some programs can, especially something like Photoshop, can take quite a while to open. Some programs take a long time so to open. So I would leave that on. Yeah. I like to have that on. And then we have automatically hide and show the dock. Well, here's right. the feature where you can have it up all the time if you have that off. See, it never goes away. Never goes away. Or you can turn that on, off. and it'll only show up when you ho- when you yes. move the mouse down there. Yep. 
Um, and then the last thing is showing indicators for open applications. Which is an awesome feature. Really nice, because as we said, you can pull applications yep. into the dock, but if you don't have one in the dock and you run that program, it's going to put it in the dock and mm -hmm. it's going to show you that it's open by this little dot underneath it. Right. So right now we have Word open, even though we don't have a Word document on the screen, the program is actually running. Right. And that's um, good to know because sometimes if you get too many programs running, especially if you have, have an older Mac it'll or slow it system, down. it'll slow it down. Yeah. Yeah. So you can take a quick look. You can see we've got... Screen flow open, of course, because we're recording, or right. we've got pages open. Got pages open. Easy so you way can to see it. Go into them and quit out of all those apps if you want to. Right. Perfect. Okay, so that's the preferences. And then I think you had a few uh, <coughs> right. shortcuts, right? Yep. Let's and there are ask. some shortcuts, some fun ones. Now, there, we found a bunch of shortcuts for the doc, um, in which we will include in the description below. Right. But we're going to show you some of our favorite ones. Um, for changing, I'm going to go ahead and close. Perfect. This window, okay, and this window. Okay. So, uh, to change the size of the dock, you can just instead of going into settings, I can just hover over it till I get that um, double arrowed white line, and then if I pull back and forth, see how I'm oh, changing wow. the size. That's nice. That is fun. It's mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. And then I can also, if I right click or control click right over it, I can bring up the menu of things I can do to it. Okay. Which almost has pretty almost much everything. everything in the doc preferences. If there's something you don't see, uh, you can just go right to doc preferences. Yeah, that's nice. And you can do that for any uh, any application. If you right click or control click. Oh. If you have a right click mouse or trackpad, if you don't, you hold down the control key and click. Yeah. And so that'll bring up options that you can do for any app or document. What are the options above there? Let's look at that really quick. So you can remove it. I could remove it. I could open it, log in. So oh. when my computer logs in, it'll open up. Right. Uh, show in the finder. Yep. Or assign it to different desktops you might be using. Yeah. Because yep. I have my laptop hooked up to a bigger screen. Right. In this case. Right. So it's kind of nice that you can you can get all those shortcuts right from the dock. You don't have to go right. to preferences. And there's another uh, one that I like a lot. To empty the trash, you just control click over the trash. And empty, empty the trash. trash. Oh, and of course, then the all scary, like, do you really want to yeah, trash I'm it? Sure. <laughs> now, the last of our favorite doc shortcuts that I'm going to show you is how to create stacks or folders for your doc. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the Finder. And I'm going to navigate to my Documents folder and I'm going to find a folder. Um, and what I'm going to do is create a shortcut and put this in my doc and they call that stacks. So uh, for example, um, this is a folder I find myself using a lot recently. Um, we're just buying a kitty. So we're um, collecting data, you know, different places where we can get cats. Um, so I'm always going to this folder. So I'm gonna create a, a stack. So what you do is you select the folder and you click and drag it down to your doc and put it to the right of the separator and voila. There it is, right in your doc. Now, if I click on a stack, boom, out pops the contents of what's in the stack or the folder. And so nice because you can come up and you could click on anything and go into it. You can see I even have folders within this folder. If I clicked on it, it would open those folders. Or if I click on any one of these um, files, it would just open that file. So it's nice, easy access. Now there's several fun things um, that you can do with the setup for a stack. If I right click or control click, it'll bring up your options menu. Now the first one uh, is viewing content as, and this automatic uh, means that it will choose depending on how many things and what type of things you have in your stack, how to display it. Um, or you can choose it yourself. The first one we showed you was the fan. This one is called list. So if I go ahead and click on that, it's just going to list things. And the other one to show you is a grid. And this one is kind of nice. That's kind of a fun one. So um, also if you right click or control click, you can change the way um, it's sorted by date, added, modified, created, or by kind. Um, that's a nice feature. And also instead of having it look like a stack, you can choose it to look like a folder. See, so if I go ahead and put it back to stack, 
you can see how it's a little picture. So that's another one of our favorite dock shortcuts using snacks. That's great. Yeah, so I think we've learned a lot about the dock today and that you can really set it up the way that you want to and it, there's so many things you can do with it you probably didn't know about. Right, so have fun customizing your dock. Thanks for watching the Sink Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.